Okay, in this video, we're going to do a Joomla install. And as you probably know, there are various ways to install Joomla. The old school way would be to go to joomla.org and grab the install file and expand it on your hard drive, FTP it up to your server, and then build your database and do the install. And what you wind up with is an empty Joomla install. And then you would go and find a template and you would install that and then you would go through all the steps of installing all your plugins, components, and modules uh, and, and then all of your content and all of that takes quite a while and it's one way to install but uh, there's another way that's a bit of a shortcut uh, and there's nothing wrong with shortcuts uh, the faster you can get something built the better um, so what we recommend as, uh, as one method of installation is to go to a commercial template company such as Rocket Theme uh, or Joomla Art or um, Yo Theme. There's a, there's quite a few, and they all have a demo site. Uh, you'll see here. I'm looking at this particular uh, template that came out in April of 2010, and what Rocket Theme offers, aside from just the template uh, installation, is something called a rocket launcher. Uh, Joomla Art calls it Quick Start, and there's other names for it. But essentially, it's a pre-bundled Joomla installation with their template as well as with a number of extensions that are pre-installed and an awful lot of components uh, and modules and plugins that give you a really good head start um, with with some very nice uh, features. So uh, this, this particular template uh, happens to be the same template we use uh, at Wiser Joomla. It's a good one because it's kind of Web 2.0 looking and it's very clean and you can either have a very rich background or none at all as you can see we've chosen here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we've already downloaded the, the rocket launcher and so we're going to go to our cPanel. Now you may have cPanel, you may have Webmin, but most hosts will provide you with a file manager and that's all you need to get started. So let's go ahead and go to our file manager and you see here we have our empty directory which is our public HTML where the website's going to live and we're going to simply upload the compressed file for the rocket launcher and so we just need to find it here it's Quantive rocket launcher here it is and once we click upload it begins to upload and uh, typically only takes just a couple of seconds uh, this is a lot faster, by the way, than using your FTP and um, uploading thousands of files uh, because this is just one big fat file and it'll, it'll upload in under a minute. So we're 50% of the way there. And when we get to 100, we're going to go ahead and expand this file on the server. Now, while that's going on, uh, we do need to build a database. So let's go ahead and go to our, our control panel and we go to MySQL databases and we're going to create a database here. Now this particular site we're using in this exercise is kind of a Craigslist sort of site. It has lists of, of items so we're going to call the database list and then we're going to create a user So we'll do that and we're going to generate a very strong password and what we want to do is keep a keep a notepad open or a text edit and make sure we get our password in there. Okay so we create the user, we've created the database. Now we need to go and add that user to that database. So click this button and we're going to copy this information here because we're going to need that for our installation, the user and the database name. There we have it. And we're going to make sure we give all privileges to this user for that database. And there we are, we're done. Next step, let's refresh our um, file manager and we'll see that the rocket launcher zipped file is there and we're simply going to select it 
and hit the extract button. Make sure that we are extracting these files into the public HTML. And voila, it's done. And so this is your Joomla installation. You can go ahead and save some space on your server and delete the, the zip file. And now all we need to do is take our URL right here and open up a new tab and paste that in. Hit enter. And the screen we're going to come to is the very familiar Joomla installation screen. Starts out with which language? We're going to select English. And we're going to take a look and we've got a pretty good set of um, settings here. There's only one thing that's a little bit off and I can go change that later. So we go to next. We accept the terms of the license and here we are with our um, database. So we're going to put in localhost which is typically what you do. And the username we're going to flip over to our text pad here and grab the user and paste it in. And next is the password and we're going to take that and we're going to paste that in and then the database name itself. This by the way is the same for uh, any installation of Joomla and we want to go ahead and click next and make sure that this database worked and it did. We're going to skip over the FTP configuration we typically don't use that and then we're going to go to site name which we will call wiserlist.com and you put in your email and you want to generate a password. Uh, we can do that pretty quickly uh, if we go to an online uh, password generator which I should have here and if I don't, I'll get it quickly enough. Here we go. Okay, this one looks good to me. Uh, I like this one better. The longer and more confusing, the better. Security is everything. Okay, so now we've got our password, and we're going to put it in twice, and we're going to store that in our. So we know our username is admin, and our password is that. And we're going to install the sample data. Takes a split second. There it is. Installed successfully. And we go to next. And we're done. Now, there's one more step. We need to go to our file manager. And the installation directory has to go. So we delete it. Goodbye. Okay. Now we can go ahead and log into our admin type in admin and I've already saved the password it's the last thing I copied and we're logged in and we'll go ahead and remember that Firefox is the way to go and so now if we hit preview you'll see that on my server in the time that it took to make this video under five minutes we have an exact copy of the Quantive website as seen on rockettheme.com and everything functions. <clears throat> you can click here and see that all this information is already in here and we've got our slideshows etc. And that's it. That is how you install in under five or ten minutes a fully realized Joomla site.